Hello, Class here, The Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds. In the last part, we explored the world a while and didn't find anything at all. And then we went to the Parallel Tower, got far enough to randomly find a heart piece in the Parallel Tower, and killed the Moldorm, which I'm pretty sure stays dead. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I don't think you can make a respawning Moldorm. At least not with base materials. Um, so... See, I used my fairies, so I should at least grab more of those. But I'm probably just going to wander around again. Also, one thing that I cut out, but I wanted to leave in of the last episode, is that in the town, there's actually somebody that says the house you get the bow in is, was the house of a hunter. Uh, right, so... What sort of places didn't I go last time? I did explore the forest for a while. That was completely cut out, because nothing notable was found. I went into the house with a hint in it, and it was just saying that Impa's Ways goes to four places. I couldn't remember what it said. Um, okay. Nothing down here. Wait. Have I ever actually found a hideout in the area called Mystery Hideout? I don't think I have. And the fortune teller wants me to find a rebel hideout by the beach. This doesn't look beachy, but technically there's water here. Maybe this merits further investigation. Uh, wait. There's no way off to the left here, is there? This is Pyramid Falls. Yeah, the plan this episode, anyway, is to look around, grab some fairies as I'm looking around, and then if I don't find anything, I'm just going back to the Parallel Tower yet again. I'm recording this on a Saturday, which is actually up the upload time for Parallel Worlds, so I have plenty of time. Also, the fact that I got a heart piece in Parallel Tower means I'm one heart piece short, so if I can figure out how to get to that heart piece, that would be pretty excellent. I know, I'm pretty sure, I can't say I know, that um, you don't get to it from the fairy fountain, but that's about all I believe concerning that. I mean, there must be a cave somewhere in the leads there. Okay, so if I go right here, I can't go right here. How do I get to... Yeah, because Victory Beach, that would lead me all the way to the quarry. If I, oh, I thought I was closer to the wall so that I wouldn't get hit by that. How do you get to the left part of that screen, then? The, um, mystery hideout. For some reason, since I found Sheik's hideout, I assumed that mystery hideout was just referring to the fact that Sheik's hideout was nearby once, and I don't think I ever gave it a proper investigation. And this? It's still just a black thing in the wall. I always swim into it every time I spot it, and it still does nothing. Wait, can you hookshot across that? It might be too long. Also, while I'm here, I should get fairies. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not detecting any success with this hookshot. Um, I guess I could also get more max arrows and bombs. And Tarquin pointed out that I can just stand on the conversation trigger and wait for it to refresh. Oh man, happier... Oh man, I'll have big trouble today. If, except I'm gonna get a different fortune anyway. Um... Yeah, and that just affects your drop rates for, I think, the next 20 enemies. Alright, 30 arrows maximum. Uh, that, that's good for now. I'll probably visit this fountain again sometime. Uh, honestly, next time I go to the Parallel Tower, I might want to bring potions, just for that extra recovery, because I have a decent pool of max hit points, so full heals are valuable. I don't believe there's anything off to the right, but I guess I'll check it out again. I 
I think I've even bombed that dead end right there, so there's definitely nothing there. Yeah. Okay. So... I guess I'm going back to the mys mystery hideout. I wanted to call it the mysterious hideout. But... I don't know what I'll do once I'm there. Okay, there's nothing over here. Yeah, I was hoping my detour up there, towards like Pyramid Falls and everything, would lead me over to the left part of the screen. Definitely searching under everything for any manner of hole. It could be a secret passage. I don't. I think I've tried previously to hook shot across here and it didn't work because it's, yeah, it's much too far. I might also describe it as too tall, much too tall. If I was Lulu. That's my fortune at the moment. I might not be getting any drops for a while. Does, does the cave over here lead anywhere? To the left? I know there are two caves. Oh, you're just healing. Well, I missed two hit points, so I might as well heal up. I know the cave to the right leads to Sheik's hideout, but it, does it lead to any other hideouts? So what happens if I fall here? I normally took shot across. I'm up here. Have I ever gone this way? This is looking like really unfamiliar. Ow. I could just cape past everything easily. But I'm not. Really? That's how you get here? <laughs> I guess it didn't leave me short a hit point for very long to not figure that out, but I've been wondering for a while. So, the key is that you need to fall there once. Um. <laughs> okay, but that doesn't answer how to get to some sort of hideout in Mystery Hideout. Which is my new obsession, because... I've kind of exhausted every other area in the whole game. <laughs> as far as I could tell, anyway. Yeah, there's still no secret passages under that big rock. Okay, that's not secretly a sprite-edited rock. The maker of this hack hasn't done, like, crazy sprite edits besides things that are actually not there. Which isn't really particularly crazy. Like, you don't, like, see a bush and it's actually a torch. That's what I mean. Oh, man, fish. Maybe, like, some of this is fake? Can I swim into... Uh... I don't think that was supposed to happen. But, uh... I really don't think that was supposed to happen. But I'm gonna look around up here anyway. Uh, so what, what's up here? Pier glitched out Pyramid Falls. Excellent. Uh, oops. Um, so I can't pause and the screen changes and failed and you shouldn't glitch out the game. <laughs> Alright, so I need to re-get everything. <laughs> I'll, I'll meet you once I've done that. I have a bow upgrade to get, two fairies, and the heart piece. And we're back. Um, I did save my game after doing this stuff too. Because I actually kind of... I want to see if I can get it to do that again. <laughs> see, so I like swam directly left. And then up and left, and 
Yeah, that's actually pretty easy to reproduce. It's... It looked like there was actually legit stuff over here, maybe. Whoa! Oh! So this is the mystery hideout. Sheik's hideout is, is the mystery hideout. They're not two distinct locations. That's interesting. There's also a lot of slowdown going on here for some reason. Are there maybe other entrances to the sides that I forgot about at some point? I'm not seeing anything. Um, Alright then. Um. <laughs> Well, I discovered a glitch. Maybe I can use that somewhere else, but... I somehow doubt that that particular glitch is used by the Hackmaker intentionally anywhere. <laughs> uh, let's see, wait, there's a... No, there's nothing under the floor there. Also, by the way, when I redid that part with all the spikes, I did just cape my way past it. It was pretty fast. So I think that's intended to be the way out of here, but you can totally just hug the wall. Alright, now we're at not a dead end. So I like that the random scenery placed where you couldn't actually get to confused me into thinking that something was an area, and then turned out to be useful for escaping it because there was that jump down place that went straight into Mystery Hideout, which was kind of entertaining, because we like jumped over a whole ton of stuff. I wonder if ice blocks just aren't marked for being jumped down on to a bowl. Because I think I landed on the first tile that wasn't slippery. Like, it might just be searching for the first normal tile, is what I more mean. So I haven't found any warps that involve, like, Zora Whirlpools. This hack. There might just not be any. But I, I find that curious. Maybe I should look around the water more? Of course, all these are obviously enemy Zoras, not the warp points. The warps, they just stay there forever. And Zoras don't come out of them. Uh, have I tried under this bridge? Probably. I try under all the bridges all the time. I was wondering for a second if maybe all the mysterious tablets I've collected would do something for me. I don't know if I have them all yet, though. I... Did I pick up one in the Ice Dungeon? And also, did I pick up one in Impa's Ways? I don't know. I'm sure it'll be obvious once I'm supposed to have all of them, and then I'll just see if I got them all at that point. I feel like I might have all of them, though. This is kind of curious, because it's the same configuration that's in front of uh, Sheik's Hideout, but it doesn't appear you can do anything with anything here. Maybe I'll try a bomb, just because... Well, I didn't find any secret hideouts there. So, I guess I'm checking to make sure this isn't really a kill room. Because why not? Skeletons are still flammable. <laughs> I think I cut out the part last episode where I was finding it incredibly funny that skeletons are fa flammable. Oh! Are enemies respawning without me even leaving the screen? Or did I just not kill those? At any rate, this doesn't appear to be some sort of outdoor kill room. Not that I'm surprised in the slightest. Um, it's looking reasonably well explored. Cold beach path, sure. Have I ever been up to that house? See, there's no water here, so I can't do my trick that I discovered. <laughs> I feel like I've obsessively attempted to get to that house before, but never actually managed it. Maybe that's this episode's project. <sighs> Do 
Do I really want to cut every bush here in case of secret holes? Is that what we're doing? Alright, you can't actually get down this pathway. I'm pretty sure. I thought I would just try tapping directions so that I wouldn't fall off because you have to hold it for a while to do so. But whether I tapped left or down or I mean down right or down or diagonally, I wasn't going anywhere. Alright. Village cemetery. Oh. Yep. No secrets hiding under the bushes or the rocks. I verified it experimentally. Alright, no secrets there. What if I cast quick here? Nothing happens. Is there any part of the world I haven't been in the past two episodes? Uh, I haven't been over near Darunia's Cavern. I think that's it. But I also think it's a single screen, basically, of fire. <laughs> I mean, I... Yeah, I could go in Impa's ways and look around, or I could go to the Parallel Tower and look around. <sighs> Alright, well, I've been going like 40 minutes, so I'm gonna call it here, and next episode, I'll probably just try to fumble my way through the Parallel Tower some more. And hopefully that'll be great. See ya!